Hey, Center Football fans. This is your Center Football Fans podcast. You got Terry, Rob, and Caleb here. Boomer Rob. Boomer Terry. Boomer Caleb. Boomer. We're going to start off with a little self-promotion. Everybody needs to remember. Um, that subscribe. To subscribe. Hit the subscribe <laughs> button right now. Subscribe once, subscribe. Do it twice. Do what? Keep, just keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. keep Can you doing keep it. doing it? I don't know. Yeah, you keep doing it. It helps your numbers. Maybe when too. you're younger. Yeah. No, you keep doing it. You keep doing it. <laughs> so all the other podcasts tell you do is do it. Just hit subscribe, it. subscribe, 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 subscribe. Over and over and over. Um, Why is there Halloween music playing, Rob? That's my ex-wife's text tone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but everybody also needs to remember that uh, Sooner Football fans is not affiliated with the University of Oklahoma, but... We do have eligibility left. There you go. So, uh, something to always remember. Uh, we are available for uh, tryouts for uh, the Oklahoma Sooners. Nobody else. Don't come calling on us. We're not going to come and, and see you. <laughs> You're not going to go play for no, Kansas? We're not going to take you official. You might be actually be able to start up there. <laughs> yeah, <maybe. I> don't <laughs> know. <laughs> we're not taking any official visits to anywhere <laughs> other than Oklahoma, and that's upon invitation only. So, uh, Oklahoma – uh, Sooners yesterday just flat out route the uh, Kansas State Wildcats, fifty-one to fourteen. Go guys! What <laughs> happened? <laughs> you go first. Go ahead. Uh, it's pretty much what I expected it to be. Like I like a my pre prediction for the game, I thought that was score fourteen points. I gave it sixty-three, but that's close enough. I mean, I thought it was just a beatdown all the way around. Like I said, but early when Rodney Anderson got hurt, I wasn't really worried about the running back shit because it was about this time last year, Rodney Anderson came on, and now we got uh, Kenny Brooks out there. So, I mean, I think we found a running back, and our offensive line's coming together better, and Kyle Murray's just probably the best player in the country. So, I mean, it's, it's always nice to see. Well, um, so at the start of this year, no one, not not us, not anyone, was saying that this offense was going to be better than a Baker Mayfield offense. But I'm telling you, it is. It's, it's so much better. I thought there was a chance. I was, I was pretty high in Colin Murray. It but. is. And here's what's scary. And I, and I don't know if you guys agree or, di- or disagree with this, but if Rodney Anderson was healthy, it would be even better than it is now. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. because we got five backs. Rodney Anderson is an elite back. And the other four – are extremely good. Yeah. and But I think Kennedy Brooks, before it's all said and done, is going to be a double elite back. That dude is just amazing. Did you hear that Lincoln had to answer that my question again? Somebody well, said, he doesn't look like he's running. What's up with that? And he doesn't. But I noticed that, you know, I was watching the replays uh, this morning, and he's right. He It's not that he's not moving fast. He just glides. You know, he, he doesn't have a lot of jerky motion. There's not a whole lot of wasted motion in his running effort. But um, <clears throat> let's take a look. Well, actually, what, what happened yesterday? First off, okay, Rob, it's I'm 100% with you. I think Caleb, you are too. This may be the best Oklahoma offense has ever had. You know, it's better than it's, last year. It's, it's in the discussion of the best offense we've ever had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Here's the drive summaries. First drive, seven plays, 69 yards, two minutes and four seconds. Um, The field goal, uh, the next drive was nine plays, 59 yards, three minutes and 39 seconds. Um, And then the next drive was two plays, 81 yards, 43 seconds. (laughs) Um, then uh, Then we got Kennedy Brooks. Uh, three-yard run with seven plays, 75 yards, two minutes, 34 seconds. Uh, the next drive was eight plays, 90 yards, three, uh, three minutes and eight seconds. Um, another field goal on the next drive, five plays, 12 yards, one a minute, 46. Um, the next drive, uh, the Kennedy Brooks run, um, 86 yards, but it was two plays, 91 yards, 46 seconds. Um, the next, the next drive, five plays, 73 yards, uh, two minutes and 37 seconds. Uh, then in the fourth quarter, we got the ball with 12:57 left, 14 plays, 84 yards, 
seven minutes and 57 seconds. So oh, they slowed God. it down on that last drive. <laughs> but look, th- that's really it. Seven, is that seven hundred total yards, right? Huh? 700 and, 710, I believe, was the total. Let me scroll down. The 702 total 702. offensive yards. Yes. Uh, and you know something? Bounce. Kyler didn't have all that many rushing yards. No. So, I mean, you, you, we had 300 and, um, uh, 322 yards rushing, 380 yards passing. <laughs> That's well, called balance right there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and let me say this. I was just talking about the, uh, the backs. Our backs are, you know, all four of them are really good. And, in fact, probably could be starters just about anywhere else in the Big 12 and maybe the nation. Yeah. Our receivers, they are all good, and two of them at least are elite receivers. Yep. And I didn't add Calcaterra in that. He could be. Yeah, well, uh, 19 um, completions to 12, 12, 12 different so, receivers. So the quarterback is really good, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but, think, but see, what, what CD, I mean, uh, yeah, it was uh, CD said after the game, you know, the we too deep. He said it doesn't matter who's out there. Right. You know, and, and other ones, uh, I think it was Cal Cateria who said, that's what you, we love about the game plans is that everybody's going to get to touch the ball. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the, it, there's plays designed for everybody to get their hands on the ball at any point in time. Well, think about the hands that are coming in to play here next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that receiving core only gets better with true freshmen coming in next year. Yeah, Hollywood yeah. stays too, which is, a, which is possible too. So, I mean. But I mean, Kenny, uh, uh, Brooks had 95 yards rushing. Pledger had 93 yards rushing. Um, Sermon had uh, 62 yards. Kyler 46. Marcella Sutton 19. Uh, Austin Kendall had 17. Um, and uh, Murray ended the day with 19 of 24. 19 of 24. Man, those are Heisman <laughs> numbers. <laughs> It's unfortunate for him that he's playing in the same year as Tua Tuga Blog yeah, Logo Logo Logo. <laughs> because he's he's going to win the Heisman any other year. Unless but he struggles against LSU this week. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. But he's playing, yeah. I mean, he hasn't been played the fourth quarter yet. Like his, his numbers are just ridiculous. But to his yeah, numbers, so. and, and it, it's his he could come out. Right he, he could come out and you know they win and him drop a dud. Mm-hmm. You know because well, that's how good. You know, if he drops a dud, like that if, helps out. If Kyle. LSU comes in there and shuts them down, everybody's going to go, well, you know what? This is the first defense Alabama's played. Yeah, they yeah. don't play any defense at all. We played two defenses better than them. I mean, like, he, he's a clear front runner right now, but Kyler's playing so good that he can't have a missed up. He has a missed up. Kyler's right there for the taking. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, I mean, that's how good Kyler's playing right now. Absolutely. Okay. Here, here's here's three stats that I want to I want to talk about. Okay. First off is the average – um, uh, yards per rush, 8.3 against Kansas State. Okay, the average per pass, okay, average per completion, excuse me, or average per completion, 17.3, which gives you a grand total of 10.3 yards per play. We gonna we, we basically got a first down every time we touched the ball. I think that's where we're averaging for the year too. We're averaging like ten yards per play for it's, the year. It's crazy. Good. That's ridiculous. Well, Have you ever seen a stat like that? Honestly, Rob. I no, mean, we, I but mean, the, th- that defense that we played Saturday was not. I mean, but still, to to be able to do that against anybody Air is pretty good. Yeah, I mean they that offensive line. You know, with the, well, here's what I'll, I'll say: sitting in the stands. You know, I love I love going to the game because of the pomp and circumstance, but you really don't get to really watch the game right. unless you're watching it. You know, you go back and watch it or watching it live. But that offense from the stands yesterday, just you well, for one, you could tell the de- the offensive line just dom- completely dominated everything that happened, and everything was it looked easy because there were play that first touchdown. Uh, where they they cleared out, uh, they ran post and cleared out the underneath, and and Calcaterra caught that pass, um, you know, for a touchdown. Um, C.D. Lambs touched. There were times where just it wasn't that these guys juked people and and got open. It was the design of the play to get them wide open. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it is just it's well, when you sit there and you <laughs> sit, and when the crowd starts cheering before the ball gets in the air because you see, you see a receiver it. going wide open 
It's nuts. This yeah. offense does it so easily. Yep. You know what I mean? It's just designed to they do make that. it look easy, which is yeah. a good thing. Yeah, but you say that, that's what I mean. But you you sit there and you're like, oh my god, CD Lamb's ten yards behind everybody, and the ball's in the air, and you're like, everybody sees it, and it's mm-hmm. standing up. You know, you you see the uh, the hole open up, and you, you know when he, you know when whoever's back there takes off run, and it's like, oh my god. This is crazy. <laughs> when it's Katie Brooks, it looks like he's jogging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he still goes around everybody. I mean, we've seen the speed on that one breakaway run. I mean, there were guys kind of coming, but they, they weren't really running him down. They weren't running. And but then the safety had an angle on him, too. He just ran right past the safety. Like, yeah. He just ran right past yeah. him. And then that little juke he put in there on about, what, about the six-yard line, just kind of stutter step and <laughs> yeah. around and in he goes. So we really still don't know what he runs. Whether yeah. he runs a, you know, it looks like he runs a 6-5, but it's probably closer to a 4-4. I mean, it's he's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, man. I mean, the offensive line too is like everyone said. Cree Humphreys was the most talented player out there for the center. He just had to learn, and once he learned everything, like it would be dangerous. I think finally he's finally caught on. You with think everything. he's got it now? Huh? Yeah. So I mean, you can tell the difference right now he, with it. I've watched a couple. Somebody put out a little video of him last week, dude. He has had some blocks that have been just you know would kill most guys oh, i mean man. the way he's moving he's people a big around. strong kid mm-hmm. and we we got him three more years yeah right three, yeah. Well, three. three. He, he, he's a red he, shirt he, he's red shirt but yeah, he's I mean, a red shirt he's freshman. also a, he's also a, a center so more likely three yeah probably yeah but uh just a man it's hard to put it into words i mean this is the type of game i said we needed to have and and yep and i i honestly didn't think we'd have i thought we'd score this many points but i was like man i just had that feeling you know man this is going to be bad you know not bad but it's just we're going to see them hang around and hang around and hang around so you thought they were going to drive our defense didn't you yep hats off to the defense because mm-hmm. they allowed 245 yards so let's talk about them now then in a, in a 245 total yards, um, uh, 150 uh, – no, excuse me. Uh, yeah, 137 yards rushing is what they gave up on a team whose goal was to come in here and rush the ball. That's what they said, and keep the ball out of yeah, the offense's Yeah, how much of that hand. was in trash time, though? Because the twos are out there oh, yeah. early, early in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and just – I mean, they they just shut them down, yeah. and and it really surprised me. Number one, the thing that really surprised me was the quarterback run game last year with K State was was great. Hey, that quarterback is quick. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they didn't really run. They just kept running a bunch of zone reads. They didn't really run that quarterback. You know, that quarterback dive where they you know yeah, he kind of takes yeah. a step back and follows. Oh, the, he couldn't. Yeah, they couldn't run it. <laughs> Neville Gallimore was punching people in the face. Yeah, they were getting the penetration. Blitzel. They were getting back in there, which was not you know we're not nuts. I mean, it was just definitely this was the most total domination of both sides of the ball that Oklahoma has had all year long. Yeah, and and maybe in the last two years. So I think it's safe to say the defense is back more than the Texas team. <laughs> <laughs> so so how are you feeling about the defense now? Are you drinking any Kool Aid? I've got the Kool Aid back out. You got it out. I'm afraid to drink it, Rob. I'm afraid to drink the because as soon as I start drinking it, you know what's going to happen. Listen, we're Sooner fans. You know we can drink some Kool Aid. Yeah, I can't as long as it's it. red. I can't. Yeah. I can't yet just because these are two teams for us, perfect teams for us to play against after the bye week. T- TCU's offense is terrible. Kansas yeah. State's offense is terrible. Yeah. I think this week we'll know for sure. Uh, that's what next Tech game. That's what I'm thinking. Well, of. here's the thing though: even good defenses are going to give up a lot yeah, of yards. They've done everything right so far to these offenses yeah. that yeah. are coming up. So we can't judge this defense because they give up through 400 yards passing. Because everybody, every defense in the nation, it most likely is going to give up that kind of yards to these kind of offenses. Right. No. So, but. I mean, for for Oklahoma, I mean, you know, last week um, we saw it a, a, a little bit better, you know, in a, in a TCU game. I mean, the defense, I want to say a lot better. It's been playing better. And and now the defense is playing really a lot better. Is that even a way to term that? Well, way we better. were <laughs> way, 90, way better. 97 or 98 rank. Now we're now in the 50s. In, we're in the 50s. Yeah, so that's all or, we or are we fifty? Yeah, where I think it's like somebody I saw a deal. I've been trying to look it up today, but I saw a deal. Somebody had posted it's like fifty seventh ranked defense. Now. So we've been saying all year long, 
even before the year started. Yeah. All we got to be is a little bit better than we were last mm-hmm. year. Yeah. The and, and we weren't counting on the offense being better than it was last year. Yeah. So and I'm telling you, I mean, uh, uh, Buck, you know the 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 president. I don't know if he's the president, but he I runs. Think he is president of the Roughnecks. The Roughnecks alumni Associ- alumni association. Yeah. We were sitting watching the uh, uh, o- uh, the Oklahoma State uh, Texas game with him and and some of the old Roughnecks uh, after the tailgate, and they were showing high at halftime. They're showing highlights and. And uh, somebody brought up, I think it was on that, you know, this team can contest, you know, Bama. You know, is this the team that can really, the offense that can really contest Bama? And I kind of started drinking, you know, Bucks Kool Aid, which was bring Bama on. He goes, I, he goes, I really thought we could last year. And he goes, I'm starting to think. Bring, bring them, bring them on. A lot of people, a lot of people are saying that too. They think we're the only team that actually could beat with Bama because our offense is so good that they have it's purpose for pressure on their offense. Absolutely. And if our defense can kick them off the field two or three times, that's it's a done. W. That's done. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And in fact, if we can beat Alabama this year, I think they're better than, than they were last year. If we can beat them this year, then no, we can beat everybody. We yeah. Can beat mm-hmm. Anybody. Now, <laughs> having said that. West Virginia looks like it's going to be a tough test. Yeah, until West Virginia jumped out there. That's unbelievable. West Virginia. Uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of with Caleb. It's like, who, who's West Virginia? But wouldn't it be interesting if we ended up playing Iowa State in the Big 12? They lost yesterday to Texas Tech. Yeah. Did they lose to yeah, Texas Tech? Tech? That's why we're, that's why we're prime time. No, no, no. Did they lose? No, no, they came back and no, won. No, they won. They came yeah. back and won. won? Oh. Yeah, because yeah. I picked them to win. And, uh, I, picked I know they're, they're, they're getting whooped the first half, and then I, I guess they Tech. came back. Yeah, because I pulled it up here. Uh, yeah, Iowa State won forty to thirty-one. Okay, so I'm I was sorry. Like, <laughs> so so uh, why the heck are we a primetime game? That makes me so mad. A primetime game. I did pick Kansas. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! But uh, yeah, we'll get into the 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 rest of the stuff. But I still want to I still want to talk about this this game and and you know the stats and stuff. I mean. Or, or or looking ahead, you know we got Texas Tech this week, but um, how much how much does that Texas game now piss you off? Happens every year. Yeah, I know. I mean, and and, and Caleb brought up, you know, kudos to Caleb. You he know, said hey, it. you know, Oklahoma always drops an egg in some game, and some game. and most and teams after do. That, after that, they start steamroll everyone. So they just would. So, so normally I would agree. I don't know that that's the case in this year's game because I'm just telling you, they moved the ball on us like, I, I don't know. That game is just weird. I mean, that game is look, weird. I mean, that happened with the McCoy year. That happens against Texas all the time. Happens against that's why Texas. I'm always, always nervous about Texas because they have the talent to match up with us. They are talented, and that's the, one to, that's the game to get up for. So that's why it's always a close game, and that's why I hate playing against them because the it's just annoying. So, would you be in more favor then of a home and home matchup with them? No, I won't keep it the Cotton Bowl. No, Cotton Bowl. Yeah. No, I mean it, it's, you know, that's one of the rare traditions you got. You got just keep. It's like what three teams do that? OU Texas, Florida Georgia, and Army Navy. So, I mean, yeah, and we've, and we've done it. I think longer than any old. So, um, <laughs> but you know, it, it it's just you look at that team. You know, the Texas team that played last night you know, Saturday night against Oklahoma State, and you sit there and go, how in the world did, did we lose, we to, lose that team? to that team? Yep. I mean, just – I want to throw is – it, is it Mike Stoops? Is that the reason? Hmm. There's a few people out there going, you know, thank, you know, thanks a lot, Mike. You know, I mean, what do you think? I don't know, man. I mean, I think they just played the game of life. Ellinger played the game of his life. He couldn't miss a pass. Like, even when we're covered and he was getting hit, he still threw, like, perfect passes. But he doesn't do ever. So I mean, so, I mean that kid's just a punk anyway. So I mean, I, I think it was just more. I think it was more just them playing like the games of their life because that game was over and we made we made a game at the end. I, I think they just played the game of their lives pretty much. Well, you know how we've always talked about there are certain teams that when OU comes to town, that's their bowl game. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, having lost to Maryland and everybody saying Texas is just not very good, that you know all the things considered, that could be their bowl game at the time you know they're like listen our season's over let's try and you know do this and they did it i don't know there's there's a few fans on uh on twitter with uh i saw you know uh brett's you know out there 
poking the bears, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know, and, uh, you know, there was a guy that said, you know, you know, they lost Oklahoma State, you know, so what, um, no matter what happens, at least we beat, beat you guys. And that's all that matters. (laughs) And and, and Brett was like, there you go. They're the cotton bowl champions. You know, that's, that's what they wanted. Yeah. You know, we beat Oklahoma. It's a successful season. Well, I mean, I mean, I, I don't know that I necessarily buy into that fully, but I think it's certainly uh, something that <laughs> is of consideration, don't yeah. you? Yeah. They were playing lights out against us, man. I mean, everything worked. I mean, they. I mean, it happens like almost every other two or three years. Like, they play like the best game ever against us, and then the rest of the year they get smashed. Like, that Chase McCoy game will always stick in my mind. That guy is terrible. And he played like he played a perfect game against us. Yep. So I mean, it's just I mean, it just happens. I mean, that's why I hate playing against Texas there because like they're just they they are talented. And that's the one game they actually they get up for and they they play their asses off. Well, and it's very annoying. Pa- our past defenses have uh, made some quarterbacks look like all pros. Yeah. And we didn't do that Saturday. <laughs> and you know what? I think that quarterback is not bad. We we made that team look like you know a, a junior college team. I mean, yeah. it it was. It was score there. that Sorry. was a um, dominant. <laughs> we got a football game on in yeah. here, guys. <laughs> I'm happy to put money on this game because that, that spreads eight, and they could have scored right there. And Todd Gurley just gave up running. It's the Rams in the past. That, that was so. the that was the small JP Ron Jesus Neal right Christ. there. That yeah. what, what just right <laughs> he don't score there. He just walk in. He just stop running. Yeah, what he just going yeah. on. That was easy seven. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the defense Terry is better. I mean, period, end of story. Nobody can say it's not. It's better. It's better. Mm-hmm. And is I mean, it? We did not play a juggernaut. Yeah, but you know well, why? I think big boots too. We got Jalen Redman has been back. I mean, he's. I think. I mean, he played real good yesterday too. I think he had like a couple of tackles for loss, like five tackles, something like that. I mean, I think it's more depth, more more energy out there. I mean, I, I mean, since he's been back, we've been top, we good defense. I'll say that. Yeah. Well, and I think, um, you know, I don't want to sit here and go, you know. Ruffin has simplified it. You know, we simplified the offense because let's go back five years, seven years, whenever it was. That's why everybody wanted Venables gone. The, mm-hmm. the defense is too complicated, and they need to simplify it. Stoops comes in, and it was now it's going to be better. I, I think to some extent they have. They've just been, you know, nothing special. Let's just, you know, more aggressive style, I think, for sure. I mean – um, but I don't know that they've, they've simplified it other than they've just sat down and gone, guys, it, it's time to go make plays, you know, your athletes. Mean, yeah. Get out there and be one, you know, because they're not missing tackles now. All right. And they were missing tackles against everybody, mm-hmm. you know, uh, earlier. Um, they're, they're more solid tackle. And that just didn't happen in two weeks of practice time. I mean, I think it happens with, and it may be, you know, hey, not roughing it. It may be, you know, um, Lincoln walking into a defensive meeting, you know, with the defensive backs and the linebackers and said, you don't tackle, guys. You know how to tackle. You know what's expected. I will put everybody in the stands out there. Mm-hmm. If you don't start tackling, well, I think too is like Ruffin's coaching for his job. He's coaching to keep this job too. That makes a big difference too. And like these players, he's probably telling these players, if you don't do your job, I'm going for my job right now. So you're going to be out of there. We got we actually got depth out there to, to kick you out now. So I mean, do you think Ruffin really wants the job? I don't see why not. I don't know you why think else. so? Yeah, <laughs> it's a defense corner of Oklahoma. I mean, I'm that, sure he does. Yeah, yeah. I, I I mean, I, that's a question. You know that. Um, you know, he's, he was the assistant head coach. Um, you know, is there not somebody out there that that a dynamic defensive coordinator that that is just as dynamic as Lincoln is on offense that Lincoln is wanting to bring in here? Uh, yeah, but probably. rough and coach is good though. He's it'd be hard to take away from him, though. Like if he coach, well, him. it may be. Hey, you know, they may they've been they've known each other forever. Mm-hmm. Ruffin, I need you to step in. I'm going to get Bob or or. Mikey Bob, Bob Diaco. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm I'm just saying anybody. Oh. You know, Steve, defensive coordinator from wherever. It's actually, isn't Bob not coaching out to you now? He actually is part of the coaching staff. Before Diaco he wasn't. Yeah, he, so, he's I mean, the linebacker, outside linebacker. He hmm. took. I'm just wondering if he sat down with Ruffin and said, "Get us through this year. We want to be a championship defense." But I've got you know, Stephen, defensive coordinator from here. Look at what he's doing. This is our next defensive quarter. You don't think there's a chance? No, I absolutely. I think there's a chance. Yeah, it just it would be hard to do that, especially if Ruffin like 
if he keeps doing this, and our defense like makes a big, huge leap from a hundred to let's say the thirties, like it'd be hard to take take yeah, that away. Yeah, it would be hard not we, to give. Or him if the we job. win a national championship, yeah. it'd be like yeah, yeah. <laughs> unless you know, I mean, there's something to be said about connecting with players because I think, I mean, I don't think any of us sitting in here thinks that Mike Stoops was a bad coach. No. no. I think Mike had a problem connecting. No, he players. just wanted to new connecting. generation of players, and, and, and I, you know, I, Ruffin's up there in the age too. I mean, oh yeah, it, it may be a deal too that different personality though. Yeah, there, there's a different personality. But like I said, I, you know, hey, if we run out and and roll the rest of this year like we're you know like we wanted to all year long, I don't have a problem, Ruffin. I just think we need to be keenly aware that there's probably somebody out there. That Lincoln has been looking at some thirty-year-old, some thirty-year-old that yep. that is you know, dynamic exactly, and yeah. that Lincoln goes, you know, like you know, that's what, like uh, Bob Stoops did. You know, the offensive coordinator he first hired uh-huh. was Mike Leach. Right. Do you remember why he hired Mike Leach? Yeah, because Mike Leach was crazy. <laughs> But, and but that's Bob, what he wanted. He yeah, wanted a little Bob, bit of crazy. Yeah, Bob said it's the hardest offense to scheme for yeah. that I ever dealt against. I wanted that guy's offense. Yeah. So maybe yeah, there's hopefully a, there is somebody. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that there's a defensive coordinator out there that Lincoln has been watching because you know he has been True, for a yes. little bit. Going, man, I do not want to face that guy's schemes. So I don't think Lincoln says by anyone, honestly. Lincoln's, <laughs> I mean, so you, you think you think called, Lincoln's like John he, Wick walking into a room, uh, walking under? I think he sees Alabama's like deepest game. I've said it. I mean, Lincoln's <laughs> minds is crazy good. People are just wide open all the time. I, I mean, that's the reason why NFL teams are looking at them right. because everyone's open in our offense. It's crazy. Did, didn't you ask the question? Oh yeah, you, you did at the coaches that you ever link uh, when you're. When you know that you got – this was probably Rob's best question ever at the coaches' <laughs> show is that when you've got a team figured out and your offense is doing what you want it to do, do you ever look across this, the field and just kind of – was it smile or Give wink? Give him a little wink. Give him a little wink. <laughs> and Lincoln kind of chuckled and he goes, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> That's a con- confirmation yes. right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you look over there and you're like, yeah, I got you. No, I, I got, got you, you now. It's like, the water, it's like the water boy went for like, he sees a baby across the field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that needs way to, to way to bring in water boy right <laughs> yeah. Caleb. <laughs> yeah, but, right. There, somebody needs to put out a, a a gif like that, you know, uh you know, Lincoln Riley on the sidelines <laughs> when he looks across at the other team. But yeah, I mean I I'm you you may be right, Caleb. I don't think there's anybody that there's that guy no fears. There's no one, I mean, I, there's a reason why NFL teams like are drilling over the guy. Like, sure they, they, it's just he's I mean, like I said, every, I think every play, there's a touchdown in every play. They can't have him. Sonny. Yeah, well, did, did you hear his comments yesterday? Yeah. I think we got a chance to be great for several years, uh, for a long mm-hmm. time here. He nervous. ain't going nowhere. I'm still, oh, no. he can, I'm still nervous. He ain't going Brown, nowhere. I, I mean, like I said, like, now since uh, OU fans are Browns fans now, it's like I got a lot of Browns Twitter on my Twitter. Like, they're drooling over Lincoln. They want him so no, bad. No, but sure they Cowboys do. fans are drooling over him, too. Here, like, here's like, what just, needs to happen, Browns fans. What ha- needs to happen is the Steelers need a new quarterback. They need to offer you guys um, – um, they need to get on the phone. The Steelers do, and uh, uh, oh, what's his name? Just went blank. The running back, Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, Le'Veon Bell. They need to go. We'll give you Le'Veon Bell. You give us Baker Mayfield. Yeah, you're just speaking gibberish Boom. now. You're speaking gibberish. Did, Did you see today's like, game? Yeah. Did you see today's game? Con. First off, Connor. Who? Who's Le'Veon Bell? Connor is running all over everybody right oh, now, and just, the Steelers are have turned it around. Just saying, they won't, they won't, that won't happen. They Baker Mayfield is their future. Like the Browns fans, they're, they're going crazy for him, and also, like I said, Cowboys fans are going crazy for him too. Like I, mean, I, I said, the only way he leaves is for the NFL. This guy's, I mean, I don't, I don't. This guy's gonna happen. I don't think he's going to, but that's the best chance for him leaving. That that will happen. Yeah, but you know, for, for one, I think Lincoln's a lot smarter than than you know Jerry Jones. And he realizes Jerry Jones is just batshit crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm sure if he, if he okay. leaves, I, I guarantee you, if, if Lincoln he leaves, is. if, we, if Lincoln mean, leaves, he's going to ask for control of the team. You know, Rob, remember when you know you were in, when we were at the, um, we did the tour of the stadium, yep. Cowboy Stadium, yep. and the little Jerry Jones cubicle, not his suite, the little right. cubicle up yeah. there, yeah. did they or did they not say that phone right there goes straight, straight to, to the, the side, like to the coach, mm-hmm. right there. <laughs> it definitely that, does. That is arrogance 
That's why the Dallas Cowboys are having problems. Uh, you're absolutely yep. right. When the owner since he's taken over, right? Well, since since, since the salary cap came, came along. Well, yeah, and, and uh, um, Jimmy Johnson left. Jimmy Johnson mm-hmm. said, "You work because." And we can talk about it. I hate talking about the Cowboys, but Jimmy Johnson left the Cowboys because he said, "You're not going to be that involved. You're not making the coaching decisions." Yeah, right. And Jerry Jones was jealous of his success. Yeah, that's be, the whole three, reason why. Jimmy that's Johnson it. could have still been coaching there, and the Steve, and the Cowboys won a bunch of more Super Bowls. Yeah. I mean, I, I say, I say you're probably any, right. If Lincoln does go, I think he's going to ask for control, though. Like, he he's has, not going to get well, control has, no, with he, the Cowboys. Not like the Cowboys, but he get to control the Browns. Like, if he does leave somewhere, he'll ask for control. That's Nobody wants it. to go to work for the Browns. The Browns <laughs> are terrible. I'm just <laughs> telling you guys that. I mean, man, They're I know, terrible. I know, I terrible. know, I, I know. It sounds like I'm a, but it's look at their history. Okay, they had Bill Belichick in the '90s for crying well, out loud. Bill Belichick built the team that that left in the '90s was one of the Super Bowl. So he built a Super Bowl team there, and then and then they left for the Baltimore. But that, the Baltimore team was Bill Belichick's team. So he built a winning team in, in Cleveland. They left though before. But again, that there. that's what I'm talking about. The Cleveland management, the Cleveland thing. That's what every Cleveland fan said down there at the at the um, the draft. They'll find a way to mess. Well, it they up. will find a way to screw this up if they if you know he's the. They loved Baker Mayfield. They loved him being the first pick. But every single one of them I talked to said the same thing. Well, their mm-hmm. coach is terrible. I like the GM. Their GM is really good. Their, their GM drafted the Chiefs team. He drafted Kelsey, drafted Terry Kill. He drafted Mahomes. Then he went to the Browns. His draft picks have been good so far because that, that one cornerback really good. Baker's really good. I mean, they just need to get rid of their coach. And then that's no. what Cleveland talked about. We did too much. But like I said, if Lincoln does go anywhere, which I don't think he will, he will get creative control because okay? he has that much power. Lincoln is that smart and that and that have a name that if he does leave, he'll get power. But see, he here, here's the thing. Okay, he's going to – if he gets to the playoffs again this year, he's going to get more money. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. Okay, yeah. They're going to restructure that contract. Number one, okay, what you're saying that he would get going to the NFL, he's got at Oklahoma. Okay, he's got – you know it, he's got power. Sure he does. He's got all the choice. There's nobody – Picking up the phone and calling him. You know, do you think he's considered a greater coach, Bill Belichick or Nick Saban? Nick Saban. I think well, I Bill Belichick. Bel- 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 why? Because yeah, yeah. he's in pros. The, the all, the, all to be the best coach there is. You do it in the pros. No. Well, here's the Nick thing, Saban. Though. Nick Saban is the probably maybe the greatest. We're right. Is one of the best, if not the best, college football coach. Yeah. Well, yeah. but the two it, don't the two don't coincide. But people think greatest coach. I mean, they're, and what Nick Saban does, he's the greatest at, and what Bill Belichick does, he's the greatest at. But people will consider Bill Belichick a better coach because there's more struggles doing them in the pros. And well, college. if Belichick had the four year turnover like Nick Saban had, it's it would be a whole lot different, right? Well, wait, but Nick Saban also gets the, the choosing though of like he always he always has the most talented team out there. Like Bill Belichick, always well, he's the most had the best team. quarterback in the league for the last how many years? Is Right. What's the name up there? You you got here's the thing that you got. You got and a lot of people talk about well money, he'll go for money and we talked about this on one of our podcasts. You know, what's the difference in 5 million and 9 million dollars? Okay, well 4 million. What what more can you buy with 4 more million a year than you can? You okay, you can buy a 9 million dollar house that well, you couldn't for cash. I'm not you guess, I mean 4 million dollars is still a lot more money to me. I mean, it's, still, uh, it's a lot of money. But, oh, but you see I mean just, but when you got several million in the bank, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's, 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 well, even in this talk, it's all just great how good Lincoln Riley is. Though. Like, right. I mean, well, it's, yeah. it's just I mean and you look, at, you look at plays, and I've seen some stuff on Twitter, and you look at some plays on there, you know, and and uh, Toby Rowland asked um, uh, uh, Lincoln this, when he sees a play that he knows is his in the pros, do you get a kick out of it? And he said, yeah, because there are plays that he's seen that he's told people, Here's what you do. Here's what we do in this situation when they line up here. Do you, do you think, you know? Is it crazy how fast we go about Bob Stoops with Lincoln Riley as a coach? <laughs> it's crazy. We have Bob Stoops, one of the greatest coaches in your history. It's not it's been two years. And like it's like a, they don't miss a step at all. Well, I got better. So Link, uh, Lincoln's got a long way to go. Bob won 190 games. Yeah. But, so Lincoln's got here, a long way to go. I here's still, the other thing. Like, I mean, like, like we have like, like how many teams like lose one of the best coaches of all time and it's not, they got better after he left. Yeah. I mean, that, that never happens. And here, Look at Kansas State when Bill Snyder leaves. They're terrible. Yeah. Anywhere a legendary coach leaves, they're terrible. You know, and here, here is something, too. Uh, I retweeted it because OU Radio uh, put it on our, our, our Twitter account. I retweeted it that, you know, Bob just comes walking in the 
yeah, the the, the booth and, and starts, hey, how you doing? Shaking their And they're I've in the middle of the broadcast. It was like only <laughs> Bob Stoops oh, can yeah. go wherever he wants he's to walk in. Wants in, wants the, to in the, Toby's, what, 100th game call or something yeah. like that? Yeah, and Toby, special. you could tell he was in the middle because when well, so he kind of turned around and sat and he got right back onto the microphone. I'm like, <laughs> he just interrupted the broadcast. Right? <laughs> Absolutely did. And and was like, I can do that because yeah. I'm Bob Stoops. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like before Bob retired, like I was I was worried – that we had to keep linking because we knew how good an office corner he was. I didn't want to lose him. And because like, there was a real threat that, you know, maybe Bob could stuck around for a couple more years that someone came and swooped him up as office. I mean, they were going to try not to, but there's only a certain amount of money you could pay office corner than a head coach. Right. And so, like I said, it might be like best thing that happened in Oklahoma is Bob Stoops retiring. It could yeah. be. I mean, I mean, because for how he was recruiting That's so far. That's a bold statement, Cotton. I mean, say, I mean Bob Stoops, <laughs> he's great. It was perfect timing. It perfect was perfect timing. timing. I mean, everything was right. It, well, I think I think it goes back to how much of a genius Mike Stoops is. Sir, I mean Bob Stoops is. Yeah, sorry everybody. <laughs> didn't, didn't want everybody to have a heart attack. There. Uh-huh. It, you know, we're talking Mike, Mike. You know, but the greatest coach that Bob Stoops ever did was was. Uh, yeah, retired. he 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 went. Now's the time. He wasn't. I mean, think about it. Okay, would Nick Saban or any other? You know. Hold on to Bob, Bob. Bob is sitting here looking at what we have, what can happen the next couple of years, and went. This is this is set up. He wasn't arrogant and going. I'm going to get me another national championship or two in the next two years. This is set up. I'm not going to want to leave, and this thing be spiraling down. Turns it over. Mm-hmm. That's brilliant. Yeah, and unselfish. Absolutely. Most Wouldn't coaches. expect anything less out of him, though, yeah. would we? I mean, it's just the fact that he did that. It's just like, hey, we're set up now. This is this is where I need to step down, and we're ready to take that next step again. Yep. But well, let's talk about the Big Twelve this week. You know, I know. You know any thoughts on the West Virginia slaughtering of the Baylor wait, wait, Bears? I mean, like what, like, like four turnovers in the first quarter, something like that, too. Yeah, Baylor I wrote did. down like you know, that. Rob did his picks on Twitter, or and like I wrote down. Rob looks real stupid for that pick for Baylor, <laughs> <laughs> but he looks brilliant. He looks brilliant with Kansas, with his Kansas made up with it. Right. There you go. That's what I was going for. Yeah, but you know, notice. Remember, I put a little TCU because yeah. I hadn't. I didn't have very many, very much confidence in it because was that, at T, was that Baylor. I mean, was that it was that Kansas? Right? Yeah, it was at Kansas. Okay. Yeah, you know, in front of what probably five hundred people. I think Kansas, All six of them. I think Kansas is going to be Kansas State this year. I really do. Yeah, I know. Caleb made him. A, oh, he made him a bet with some uh, Kansas State sweeties. Oh boy, at the tailgate that that they can come on our podcast. Yeah, I I forgot that. I mean, I got the I got their Snapchat, but I don't know if I added. I, don't know, I was pretty intoxicated <laughs> at the time. I can't remember. I think I added them, but yeah, you did. You just got to yeah, find them. But find them. Um, they're going to come on our podcast and rip Caleb with KSU. That's not gonna happen. Wins. I think Kansas is gonna win, <laughs> but Kansas State's really bad. You know what? Kansas is not. I mean, they're, not they're not terrible. Yeah, they're just I mean, playing they're, solid. I mean, they're they're. I mean, they're they're not they're terrible. Every, they're bad. They're bad. Yeah, they're, they're bad. And we're gonna. I mean, we're gonna like just like I told you, we were gonna light Kansas State up like a Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. We're gonna light Kansas up like yeah, a Christmas but, tree. Yeah. Now we're gonna light them up like an atomic bomb is what's <laughs> gonna happen. But you know what? In their defense, we're gonna light everybody up yeah. like a Christmas tree. Yeah. Are we better? Yeah, but I mean that was a shocker. I mean, really. I mean, what's the final score that Kansas? Uh, the Kansas t- uh, twenty-seven twenty-six. Was yeah. like a final second. I don't know if it was or not. I didn't. I need to watch Kansas. I mean, yeah, I need to do more research for it. You know, let's, uh, t- let's talk about how short of a fuse Tom Herman's got. <laughs> well, I want to save them to last because I'm okay. still angry about that. All right, Iowa State. We already talked about it a little bit. Thumps. Uh, you know, not, not, well, how Iowa about, State man is just. We want to speak another coach who's like. As a rocket next, his name is their their coach Campbell. Yeah, Everyone, he may, he they, may not be there very they're, much. They're saying, longer. I guess that's Ohio State's main candidate that they, they want to go after because they on that sure they keep Urban after all this stuff going on. He's the one they want to get. After. And Iowa State, let's Probably face it, I mean, thing. yeah, is a is a stepping stool. Oh, school. absolutely. So, uh, and, well, and here's the funny thing. Um, yeah, my deal with with Tech, um, I just went blank on their coach. Um, Kingsbury. Kingsbury always does just enough to keep his job, mm-hmm. and I think he's done just enough this year. <laughs> he's again. also a mom, he's a mom for yeah, to keep he's his job. He's done just enough for a I mean, mediocre it's program. Just, it's yeah. just crazy. He like the corporate. Yeah, I don't care how he had Baker Mayfield and Pat Mahomes on the same team. Right. It's just crazy. Well, I mean Baker walked on there, so didn't he? 
Yeah, he walked on there. Yeah, that, that's a big. That's why. And, and how mean, stupid does he look about not giving Baker a scholarship? Well, I mean, you got Pat five, Mahomes, five, yeah. 10, 160 pounds. Well, he, yeah. he will look dumb. Thank God for him. Pat Mahomes is good. I guess not. Thank God because he looks kind of dumb too. That Pat Mahomes is a pro, and now like, and so like, but how you got win with Pat Mahomes? Well, but, Pat Mahomes is a prototypical pro. Yeah, right. The rocket you know, arm, big six tall five. Guy, yeah, yeah. Big, yeah. Good so, run. So having him on, you know that that doesn't seem as far fetched as having a. You know, five nine, five ten, Baker Mayfield, who's, Walk on. who's got to be one hundred and sixty pounds soaking wet back, yeah. you know, back then. No. Well, let's get, now let's get on to the thank you Texas for screwing everything up game. Even when we need you to win, you can't. I I hope Texas loses every game the oh, rest of the too. year. I still want to win. I want, I want revenge. You know, oh. the, I, no, I want them to get slaughtered. Okay. I won't beat their ass. You know, Oklahoma State <sighs> beats them 38-35 in a game really that wasn't that close. It really if you wasn't watched that close. the whole thing. No. The first half was dominant, then Texas like nailed a little comeback second half. And uh Eleanor. Ellinger. Okay. Eleanor. I, I realized without his helmet off, everybody Google it up. I'm telling you right now, he looks or he he is related or he looks like the banjo kid from Deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. Mm, Google it. <laughs> I can't stand that kid. And that 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 video going on this this week with him, like after Texas game, Kyle Murray shaking hands with one. He takes off his helmet. It's like take that loss, bitch. Yelling at Kyle Murray when taking shaking hands with Texas players. Yeah, like, I just can't stand that kid. Yeah, like, I said before, like after we lost him, that that kid just can't stand him. He's cocky. Like he's not that good. He's air, like he's just like, uh, his, his face just pisses me off. I, I can't stand. I'm him. telling you, look it up. He's the uh, you know, and then uh, Curly Q. What's his name? Twinkle Toes, the linebacker. I don't know. The one that looks like a girl. Yeah. Uh, the one that looks like the spawn of... Uh, um, Sunshine. Bruce. No. Uh, Bruce and Caitlin. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce and, and Caitlin Jenner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, okay, which number one is... Did you see that play at the end? Or the or the Texas game. So like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a you know, it's a kneel down play. Everybody in on the field knows. Yeah, you know, and he wanted to be it's a step. It's, it's a step up deal. Champion. Was mouthing off him, you know. Another still, you it's a victory formation. You, you, it's just sportsmanship, acceptance, and everything else goes off wild, screaming and ho- I mean, the, the epitome of what Texas is just ignorance. Okay, um, at first, you know, and I liked you know what what Mike said after the game. Give, you know, that's one of the reasons why I like Gundy a little bit now. For one, we beat him all the time. That's a good reason. That is a good reason. <laughs> but you know, Herman went off at him because Herman thought he was jumping onto his players. Right. Mike was going, that's which is a, which is a bad thing for Herman. Herman should have done the same thing that Mike did, which was run out there to get his guys away from it, away from the field. Right. Kudos to a head coach who sees something fixing to get out of hand and runs out there and starts chewing on his kid. Herman thinks he's screaming at Goober, which is ignorance on Homer, uh, Herman Herman's you know, part. I don't know what he thinks he's going to gain. By well, Texas, doing that. Texas fans are loving it. Like, yeah, that, that's your coach. He's a fucking loser. Like, yeah. he's out there yelling at our coach. And Mike said to... after the guy, "Hey, we talked. It's all good. You know, I was going out there. He thought I was doing they this. They're talking for like good, like thirty yeah. seconds. And he I mean, said, so we're all good. He said it was just, you know, but Herman looked like an idiot because he was running out there screaming and hollering he was at trying to fight someone at, at like he was going to fight Mike Gundy. Okay, which looked stupid. Okay. But you don't go after a man with a mullet, okay? I'm just telling you. <laughs> Men with mullets are, you know, a taco short of a combination platter anyway. So You're probably right. But he also hates Twitter too, so he won't ever hear this stuff. Yeah, but like, you know, and that, Twitter. You know, here's the thing: we wanted it, we really needed it. Um, the, you know, Texas to win out. I don't care now. I mean, they've lost. The the makes the loss to them look a little bit worse for us. As far as I'm concerned, I hope. They still got to play Iowa State. Okay. They played West Virginia this week. Uh, and they got to play Western Virginia. There's three losses in a you know, three losses in a row. They're not going to beat West Virginia and they're not going to beat Iowa State. I wouldn't say that about West Virginia. I don't trust West Virginia. West Virginia's going to throw a dud. They always throw a dud. West Virginia, I don't trust them. They're, they did against Iowa yeah, State. Yeah, and then at home, West Virginia might be okay, but I just don't trust West Virginia. They always fall apart sick. I mean, 
Yes, he might be different, but I just don't trust him. So what well, about Oklahoma State? Because last week we bad. said they are bad. not going to win another game. They're not going to win anymore. Okay. They're bad. I mean, they'll be TCU. TCU's pretty bad. Yeah, they're bad. not very good. But yeah. TCU, they'll probably be TCU. But, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it makes, I mean, makes Bellum look better at least now. And they're, they're, they're chirping us a little bit on Twitter, too, that they would be Texas. Y'all would be Texas. No, well, that's, that's what they always do. But, here, you know, here's the, here's the Big 12 standings now. Oklahoma, West Virginia, and Texas all 4-1. and one. Texas Tech 3-2. and two. Iowa State 3-2. and two. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, you know, West Virginia lose another game and Texas lose another game. <laughs> we could be playing, you know, well, Texas Tech is going to lose next week. Literally, Iowa State is in the hunt for the Big they 12 are. championship game. Yep. In fact, I think it's going to come down to Iowa State, West Virginia. Yeah. To play us. I mean, so, I, mean <laughs> I think there's a big difference. Even after we lost Texas, I think it's OU and everyone else still kind of. I, I, that's on, I mean, I'm always surprised by Iowa State. Like I, said, I don't trust West Virginia, so I'm always surprised by that if that happens because – like around this time, of I don't year, either. That's why I'm saying yeah, it's it, it, possible. Everybody's talking about What's Oklahoma, Texas, or West uh, and West Virginia. It's a three dog hunt. No, it's not. What's Iowa State schedule like? Like, what, like they got Texas. Who else they got left? They got OSU. Uh, they got, played OSU already. They already beat OSU. Yeah, they, they, yeah. I mean, look at them. I had to. I mean, because look at their schedule. I'm pretty sure Texas might be the only game they have left. They might. They they could lose. I guess. They already played OU. They, they lost to us. They beat West Virginia, and then so I mean, oh my gosh, their website is terrible. Uh, that's what happens when you don't win anything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what Iowa State football has left. Click on the football content. How did already do? Jeez. Well, like, regardless, Iowa State has maybe the best defense right now. I think in the Big Twelve. Yeah, I mean, they're, what, what, were they ranked? They're ranked. Uh, I know they're ranked pretty high nationally. Cause I, I saw a stat like how two has played any good defenses, and OU's played two top like thirty defenses, and Iowa State and someone else. I don't yeah. think they're thirty, but they're I know they're up there. And uh, the team we just beat, I think they had the highest in the Big Twelve, highest ranked rushing attack. Is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, they got Kansas this week. That's a win. Baylor the week after that. That's a win. Texas the week after that. Texas is the only one that's maybe. That's the only one they have. That that's that's, maybe. that could be a win. And Kansas State. Kansas State. That last one. And then they, December first, Incarnate Word. If they if they make the, <laughs> well that, that that's because that, that's the one that got canceled from the weather. But they made the Big Twelve Championship game. They'll cancel that game and play the, the Big Twelve Championship. Yeah. Game. Well, they they uh, so they could win out the rest. Of the, if they win out the rest of the games, it's very possible they could they could uh, be in the Big Twelve Championship. Yeah. That's, if they that, win that, out, against the worst teams, Texas is the only team on their schedule that actually has a winning record. Right but if right they now. if they beat Texas and they went out, they will win out. Besides, like the rest of the schedule is terrible. But it's I mean, the they they, they went out, including beating Texas. That gives them the upper hand. They have the tiebreaker against West Virginia. And the tiebreaker against Texas. Boom. They're That's in. It. So right. if we but went out and they went out, we're playing Iowa State. Iowa State. Because we'll, <laughs> West Virginia <laughs> How have crazy losses. is that? West Virginia have two losses and they have tiebreaker against West Virginia. So they'll. that's who we'll be playing. They both went out. That would probably be a good game. Yeah, but how boring is that for the rest of the nation? Well, that's why, like, oh, well, that's, why we're, that's why we're at 11 o'clock in the morning. So, I mean, yeah. the game's at 11, so. But it won't help us at all, honestly, for the national because we need we need we need uh, I think that, we need help to get in. But see, that. but I mean that's what a lot of national people are saying, though, Caleb. Which it still dumbfounds me is that if Oklahoma wins out, most people are saying we're in. I don't know. I mean, it's just, I hear know. them saying that, but I don't know if I believe. Well, it. well, no, we'll see this Tuesday how the committee sees us. Okay, if we're ranked like number ten yeah. this week, like then we're going to need a lot of help. Like, well, if we're not ranked. I mean, if we're ranked lower in the like at the bottom of the one losses, we're going to need a lot of help then. To yeah. Make the, if we win, if we win each week handily, okay, which is why we keep saying that we need to win handily. We need to beat people. We need to shut people down defensively. Okay. Um. Ohio State is ranked number eight. They're not going to jump us, okay, if we beat handily. UCF's not. Washington State's not. None of those teams are going to jump us. No. Okay. So, Georgia has got a loss coming. Okay. Not this week. Like, huh? Kentucky could jump us. Kentucky only has one loss. They're, playing they're not going to jump us. 
they're not going to jump us if we keep winning. I said we got to see well, what the, we got to see what the committee is. We could be right number ten. If in the Kentucky committee. brings down number two Georgia. What number six Georgia? Or what? Well, yeah, whatever yeah. they are. <laughs> it's possible. I mean, I said we could, we could go we could go, on Tuesday. The rankings come out. We rank number ten. I think I was lower down in the rankings. I don't think we are because we, we, I don't think I, we are either. But we, they I could. think what Rob said is maybe the best point helping us out right now is that people want to see Tug Labubla Hoba and Kyler Murray head to head. Right? They want to see that game. Yeah, I mean, that is tickets. going. That is going to make a whole bunch of money. Even that, ESPN wants to see that right. game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, I mean, they, Georgia, but Georgia could lose to Kentucky, but they, they if they don't, they win. They go to the uh, SEC game, and Alabama beats and them. Alabama beats so them. they're done. They're I mean, out. This this I mean, this <laughs> week this this is probably one of the best weekends in college football. Okay. Really the matchup this weekend. Michigan gets beat by Ohio State. They're out. They're out. That's okay, if they, that's if they lose Ohio State. Now, who would they play in the championship game? Who could they play? I don't know, but if Ohio State. You said Ohio State, right? Yeah. If Ohio State beats Michigan, do they jump? Us? No, I don't think that's if we if we be if whoever we play that know. week that they play we beat them fifty one to fourteen. No, we we don't get jumped. I know, man, but they're, if they go to the big house and beat the crap out okay. of Michigan, that is very possible. Yeah, because they're happen. in the top ten. They're in top ten, and they're in top ten, and they go to the big house and win. But I'm just telling you, they're not going to get jumped if we. Oh. If okay, because we still got West Virginia coming up, and West Virginia is that's if they win. 12th. I don't trust West Virginia. I think it lose so, two more times before we play them. But anyway, okay, work with me here, guys. For crying out loud, <laughs> I'm trying to be realistic, Dad. I am too. Be, I mean, I mean, this is this, this stuff I'm just like throwing that out here. You know, that's why I'm saying we need to win handily. If we win 41 to 40 in any game remaining, we get jumped. If Ohio State wins, sure they do. Yeah, but if we beat whoever else, Tech next week, fifty-two to fourteen, we're not getting jumped. We're not getting jumped. If we, you know, okay, we got Kansas the week after that. That could be one hundred and twelve to fourteen. We're not getting jumped. Okay, we got Oklahoma State after that, fifty-five fourteen. We don't get jumped. West Virginia, fifty-five fourteen. We don't get jumped. Iowa State, West Virginia, or Texas, fifty-five to fourteen. We don't get jumped. Pretty much we have to play perfect. Exactly. Those, those are perfect games, though. But they have to be perfect for us to get jumped. So though. that's mm-hmm. my point. We have, okay. per- have to be perfect, though, for that to happen, though. Uh, it's just like Notre Dame is wrenching all this crap. Notre Dame is um, so weird and it's no, so awkward. It, it's just like. It's just, but but my point being is we get in at number four because LSU is going to lose. LSU is going to lose this week. Maybe. Okay? They're going to lose. Yeah, we, I don't know. Bama hasn't played anyone good. Oh Maybe gosh, Bama's but, not that good. But, Caleb, that's our point is that we as Sooner fans need Bama to win out because if Bama does not win out, SEC gets two teams in and we, we don't are get in. I'm just saying. You can't just think. I'm not disagreeing with you, but what I'm saying <laughs> what, is what you want for this, for this is scenario. what needs to happen. <laughs> you as know much what I mean? as I'd love to see LSU beat Alabama. Exactly. You want them to win because yeah, if Alabama if Alabama wins out, Two teams from the SEC gets in. ESPN is doing a dance because that's what they want. That's exactly what mm-hmm. they want. Because then it's going to be Alabama, and because if Alabama loses, they're out of the SEC championship mm-hmm. game, but and we know still, that do that don't matter. matter. Absolutely. Well, last year that meant matter because there are two losses. Ohio State had two losses. So I think we have one loss. I think like, the Notre Dame throws the big French and all this crap. But, Stupid Notre Dame. So you're yeah. talking about two SEC teams, right? Notre Dame, and, Notre Dame, Notre Dame and, and, Clemson. And, and Clemson, right? Yeah. So, I mean, uh, that's what I'm saying is if Alabama, Clemson, and Notre Dame went out, they're in. And if Oklahoma wins out, that's why I think we're in because those three teams ahead of us are going to get beat. Okay. But we have to win the games handily, convincingly. Have have them questioning us. We we can't have, whew, you know, they played West Virginia back-to-back and beat them 55-50 to and 55-52. to That's not going to get us in. Mm -hmm. Probably not. Because they have said, you know, the year that uh, two years ago when we went to the Sugar Bowl, okay, Bob's last year, and beat up, beat the crap out of Auburn, they said Oklahoma's defense was the problem, was the issue. I mean, we can say uh, t- Tuesday, we can see a lot Tuesday. Tuesday rankings come out, we could be ranked number five in the, in the middle of the rankings. Cr- wouldn't people crap their pants if we were ranked number four? <laughs> yeah, yeah, over LSU, I mean, that'd be kind of, it's, it's possible. It we is possible. Those rankings, they, those rankings, these right now, don't matter at all. 
He's making two. Because Luke let's Kelly. let's look at everybody first, okay? Michigan's offense is terrible. terrible. They're, like, they're opposite of us. They're great. They're all time great defense. Yeah, all time great. I mean, their terrible. offense is worse than our defense. I think so. I mean, that would be it's anemic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's horrible. When they play a good defense, they are going to lose. Yeah. So you 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 mark that because they're going to sit here and I think if they sit here, if the committee sits here and looks at. Oklahoma and Michigan are the two that they have to choose from. Mm-hmm. Okay, Oklahoma, the most dynamic offense maybe in the history maybe. of college football right now. Mm-hmm. And a really good defense, a much improved defense. Okay, And Michigan, a really good defense, but a offense that cannot score on a high school team. Right, with no Heisman contender. N- exactly. With no dynamic quarterback. With no, you know. No, nothing other than their Michigan to support them. If Oklahoma plays Alabama in the in the Orange Bowl in the semifinals, it'd be Cotton Bowl actually. No, uh, Alabama gets the choice. Yeah, it'd be Cotton Bowl. It's closer. They'll choose Cotton Bowl. They're not going to choose it closer for Oklahoma. I think they're going to choose Cotton Bowl. They will choose it. Will make Oklahoma travel across the country. Really well. Uh, everyone's predicting. Everyone's predicting it'd be Cotton Bowl. Yeah, but I think it'd be Cotton Bowl. If it is, great, yeah. <laughs> because, you know, that. but the, are they really want Oklahoma at the Cotton Bowl? Because yeah. Oklahoma will fill Jerry's world. Bama fans already have their tickets booked already, so, I mean, they already have their tickets booked. Oh, but, I'm, I'm, but uh, seriously, so, I mean, if, they, if they do that, great, because you, you know it, Rob. Come on. There's more Oklahoma fans in Dallas than there are Alabama fans in four states. Okay. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I think but yeah, I got a huge do, alumni think, association. Yeah, but I do think they'll play the Cup. I, I, I think Alabama. Bama, Bama, because Bama, Bama plays the Cup. They fill it too. I mean, Bama's one team that I don't think they're worried about that because they, they travel. Uh, I mean, that would be. Uh, I hope so because that would be not, that would I be a be, home I, game I, for I, Oklahoma. I think you, I think it'd be, I think it'd be close to fifty fifty. I mean, I'd be, I, I'd be sixty forty. Mm-hmm. Be Oklahoma. I mean, Bama, Bama fans. Like I said they already tickets paid for already, Dad. They already, they already yeah. paid for and booked. <laughs> So, I mean, that, that's why they can do that because they already have it. They already have but it I, I think if Alabama is smart, which is maybe not. Maybe, you know, I don't think they're worried about it, honestly. They, Bama's so no, cocky. You, they might just you this wanna, you, the, that's not the fans. It's the university and, and Saban going, you know what? We need to make Oklahoma travel to where instead of it being 50-50, it's, it's you know, 70-30. Because if it's at the Cotton Bowl, you know, there's a lot of fans that wouldn't go to the, the Orange Bowl going to go to the Cotton Bowl. So, you think, may be right. I think I, think I hope that happens. All, Put all, us in all there. The, with all the Alabama. experts are picking the be Cotton Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I was picking be Cotton Bowl. So, so I mean, and they they, they picked it to be Rose Bowl last year, and then we get that right. I, I will say the one feather that Michigan has over us is their loss is a lot better. They have a way better loss than us. Yeah, that Notre Dame at, at Notre Dame is a good loss to have. That wasn't. I mean, it was a close game. Well, Texas was a good loss. Was a good loss. Yeah, they dropped a until they become yeah. Texas again. Pokey State. Yeah, so, well, I was saying earlier, like, this, this weekend, college football might be one of the best weekends of the year. Probably is the best weekend of the year. There's so many good matchups this weekend. Like this, this weekend's just loaded with good matchups. You got Bama, LSU. You got Kentucky, Georgia. Uh, so there's no question where game day is going, is there? Oh, they already announced. They announced during game day they're going to LSU. Uh-huh. So I mean, oh yeah, they have to. It's, that's top. That's top four matchup. Yeah. And Sooner fans, like I said, you cannot. You know, I know a lot of a lot of us out there hate the Bama. But you have to root for Bama. You know? just for, this time Notre Dame loses. Notre Dame loses. It's all we're all good. So they yeah. get out of there. And Notre Dame, no one wants. To, like, I'm sure they want Notre Dame. What to be I good think. What I think. I, what I think needs to happen. Okay, and it's not going to. But I think the committee needs to snub Notre Dame. I hope that happens. But, make, make them join make, a conference. Make, them join, make a conference. them join a conference. Go look. You guys have the easiest schedule. You know, a mid mid major deal. Treat them like a mid major, because that's the schedule they play. Yeah. Man. My God, that's the greatest thing I think I've ever said on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they play a mid major schedule. Yeah, but your name's Notre Dame. You don't, you don't get treated like that. You get, but what's Notre Dame. The, I understand what you're saying, but what's the difference? Let's. let's There's not a difference that. at all. It's There's just no made, difference. The difference is they're Notre Dame. That's the difference. Who have they played, and who are they going to play? Michigan's though, because they played. Michigan's the only thing. Like, the Michigan's the only thing they play. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna play USC. USC's not not that good. I mean, they, the Michigan's like the one feather they have in their cap because I mean, you look at the schedule before the season starts. Like they beat Michigan, they're gonna go undefeated because their schedule's well, cake. Even though and, and USC's they, not that good, you still get a feather, feather in your cap, cap for you, beating them. Yeah, and then like and they got lucky too because they play they're they're associated with the ACC, but they don't play in the ACC, and so they they got to avoid Clemson this year too, which sucks. <laughs> 
their uh, basketball team that plays. Best, yeah, yeah, they, they play. They play everything schedule. else yeah. is nothing yeah. except for football. Like they're pretty much in the ACC. They just don't. Let's see. Let, let's let's look here. They open the season against Michigan, won twenty four seventeen. Good win. They show lots of Vanderbilt the third game. But. Uh, Ball State. Ooh. Does anybody know what the Ball State mascot is? It's a Cardinal. Is it something like that? Yeah. Okay. Vanderbilt. Twenty two seventeen. They should have lost that game. Very well should have won that Wake game. Forest. Stanford. Virginia Tech. That's not bad. That's not bad. Pitt. It's terrible. They it's funny. Have lost the, that game too. The terrible games that they play, terrible teams they play, the worst they were. You know, Pitt nineteen to fourteen should have lost. The bad that teams game. They, they almost lose. The good teams they slot. They beat the crap out of them. They got uh, Navy. They beat Navy. What time is Northwestern? Is that 7? Okay, Northwestern's an early game. They might be in trouble there. but uh, No, it's 7-15. Okay. Northwestern. They got Florida State. Terrible. Syracuse. Terrible. And USC. You know, I mean, really, I maybe take that back because some of these games aren't bad. They aren't bad. But you know, that, they're associated with ACC. They just don't play. It. It's so stupid. You know, you take out. You know, Wake Forest. They're the, Wake Forest. No, Vanderbilt's an SEC team, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, Virginia Tech. They were respectable. Pitt's not. Northwestern. Meh. They're okay. Florida right? State's a name. SC's a name. Syracuse is kind of a name. Michigan is a name. So maybe not that bad of a schedule this year. It's so pretty easy compared to everyone else's schedule. It's so pretty easy. Well, it sounds a lot tougher than it was. I think. I mean, you know, yeah. it's just the Michigan game helps them a lot. That Michigan win. I mean, I said that's the biggest thing they have for Michigan. As they have, is they lost Notre Dame, and Notre Dame's biggest caps they beat Michigan. <laughs> what about um, Ohio State's loss last week to Purdue, who just ratted them, and then Purdue goes down at what Vanderbilt? Or no, something? they lost Michigan State, which is a terrible loss. Is that as that as that Michigan State? Michigan too? State. That's who beat them. Yeah. So I mean, is that Michigan State too? So. I don't know, it's just, I mean, Ohio State kind of, kind of go you. They have that one dud a year, too, that they drop one. Know, it's just, so, uh, Notre Dame just ruins everything this year. For, I mean, and I'm sure the national media loves it because they love Notre Dame. Oh, well, well I Notre mean. Notre Dame's biggest fan, one of the biggest fan bases in the country. So, I mean. No, it's not one of it. It, it is, is the biggest, biggest because Catholics. it's Catholics. And there's, yeah. <laughs> and there's more Catholics in the United States than there is anybody else. So, yeah. um, you know, which is by default. Um the deal you know that makes them big but anyway they should they should force them to join a conference uh, you know i don't care if it's the mac or I mean, they join the acc they're already in the acc just make the football team be in yeah. there it's just so stupid how like how the NCAA lets them do what they want they won't like, it's a contract they yeah. have a contract yeah with the nbc and stuff like that too it's and a tv contract that it's the same contract that guarantees that if they win five games they get a bowl yeah yeah which is yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, and which is, I think it was, uh, um, didn't they have a contract or an agreement with the, what's it called? What was it called uh, before the playoffs? Um, not the bowl selection committee, but the, anyway, that if they went undefeated, it guaranteed them. The it BCS? Yeah, the BCS, it guaranteed, if they went undefeated, they were guaranteed a spot. You know, I don't know. I could have swore that they were, if we go undefeated, so if there were three undefeated teams, Notre Dame, Got automatically the, gets one of the yeah gets yeah. one of the spots so yeah. I could be wrong but you know Notre Dame gets all these privileges it's a rarity rarity that I am how so. many national titles I got I don't know four five <laughs> I mean, I'm Something. sure I'm sure they like game and claim like twenty of them you could be like Texas A and M and claim some that you never yes. won yeah. or OSU or OSU. Yeah. OSU I always laugh though every time I see that I can't believe they put that up so. Like, I can't believe they put that, that thing up. It's just so funny. Well, as um, soon as Texas A&M went into the SEC, they did it. Yeah. They claimed, like, two from the 20s and one from the 30s or something like that. They lost yesterday, too. So, that's <laughs> yeah. So that's always, that's always when A&M loses. Yeah, they're bad. All right. Well, um, happy today. You know what? Uh, you know, I know a lot of Sooner fans probably don't like this, but there is something – inherently cool about being a lifelong Steeler fan. No one cares about your Steelers death. And hear and hear them call out Switzer's back t- to receive the pun. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> no one cares about the Steelers. Switzer's on the Maybe catch. Maybe when they talk about good team, the Panthers beat the crap out of your other Ravens. That's a good team right there. Panthers. Hey, that's all, all all I'm asking for is help. 
you know, we're we gonna need play, some we're help. Gonna, we started all this shit too, and we'll whoop y'all too. We we started we started the season. Already beat Rob. Already beat, already beat Rob's team. You're you're up next, Dad. Beat, we, beat, we beat the Cowboys. We're gonna beat the Steelers. Are on. Mm-hmm. I don't care the Panthers. That's like Cam Newton. Like I mean, that, that's all I care about. As long as he played good. But seriously though, Ben is you know, you know, Switzer back to receive the punt. Switzer on the catch. Damn. You know, it's like man, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> a Steeler fan and. Getting cool. them here, call Switzer. Out. Let's wait till playoffs. We all choke again, like you always do. You know, I was a little worried Saturday because I forgot my OU ring at the house when I left, and I was like, "Oh, that doesn't matter, does it, Rob? That's a rarity. Does I that matter?" Call Terry and say, "Hey, Terry, <laughs> we're gonna lose today because I left my ring." I did. And then I thought, house. you know what? It really doesn't matter, <laughs> one way or the other. Because <laughs> Otto wouldn't got your ring for you if you needed <laughs> it. <laughs> you probably would have. <laughs> but now we had a, a big group out of the. Um, uh, tailgate. tailgate. Yeah, my first time we had tailgate too. Yeah, first Kayla's first there. time to come, and we had I don't know. We had a lot of people um came and went. Uh, want to give a shout out to Lori because she was extremely mad, and she let me know that mm-hmm. at the tailgate. So Lori, we love you. Thanks for coming, and uh, it was also really cool because De- Caleb ended up. Um, giving his ticket to uh, Brock, Brock, mm-hmm. yeah, so and his first game. it was his first game, and All she right. just had a blast. Brock is so funny. <laughs> she said he was beside himself the whole game. How did you feel, Terry, about people proving to you that Skittles is candy and not? It, nobody proved it to me. Are you sure? Hey, I think Skittles. I missed this one. So I think <laughs> Skittles not candy. Because several people sent you the package with the candy circled. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, oh, it's okay. it's fruit. It's fruit. All right. It's fruit. Okay. So gummy bears, are they candy? No, they're fruit. If they're made with natural and artificial flavoring and they're apple or cherry, that's a fruit. It's not candy. Mm-hmm. Is strawberry M&M's candy? Oh, my gosh. There is no such thing as strawberry yeah, they M&M's. Are. Strawberry no, there's M&M's. not. Yeah, there is. No, yeah, there's you not. Don't even worry yes, about it. We're going to get you some help. There's, there's, new, there's new strawberry M&M's, so there is such thing you as know. that. Hey, you guys brought it up. You know, you are apparently the ones needing help. So, so is that candy or not? Strawberry M&M's. Does it have natural or artificial? Listen, you don't want to get into this conversation with him <laughs> because you know he can't. <laughs> he can't deal with that. Yeah, I, I, you know me, Caleb. Jesus I'm not. Christ. I'm not wrong. I'm your father. Nah. I mean, you like the Steelers, so you're wrong about a lot of things. Hey, it's it's a kind of like your uh, your Lakers. Oh, yeah, you know they're the greatest team in in uh, NFL franchise. The greatest franchise in NFL history. Yeah. Correct. Oh boy. Nah. Well, technically, the Celtics are. Which I hate saying that those words. <laughs> oh, only because you want to make you don't want to make your point. Well, you te- know. I said technically they are. But I mean, I mean, money wise though, it's for sure the Patriots, for sure the the, uh, the Lakers. Because I mean, they're just they're just the, they're just the brand. But technically, it's the stupid Celtics. Uh, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Boston. Uh, uh, but uh, I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to pull up our post here. There, before I pull up the post, there's one young man um, who came all the way from Illinois. Illinois, yeah, uh, an Illinois sooner, an Illinois sooner. And I don't want to. Uh, uh, we challenge that one. We had two challenges in the first like three minutes of the game. Uh, Caleb, quit talking about random stuff. Well, it's on TV. <laughs> <laughs> um. And I want to give a shout out to him because he's a really nice young man. He also got a guy come from uh, Kansas too. The, was the Kansas wife. State. <laughs> His wife's a Kansas State fan, but he listens to our podcast because he get much. To, uh, yeah. So I want to know when they got there, were they like, "Where's the good looking one?" Because I wasn't there. No, uh, no, nobody said that. Nobody said that. No, not even. They meant to say that. <laughs> Are you sure? I think pretty they meant to say sure, that. pretty sure that didn't happen, mm-hmm. Rob. Hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, I didn't pay him enough here. money. Good grief. Hold on, I'm, I'm scrolling through. So, uh, what did you guys um, at the at the uh, the tent? Um, how many? I mean, how many people came by and all that business? And well, what'd you serve food wise? All that yeah, burger, you know, just, brats, and hot dogs. Burger, brats, and hot dogs. Yeah, uh, yeah. chips, beer, Dr Pepper, Sprite, water, a lot uh, of beer, and a lot of alcohol. Uh, that's some Jimmy and Apple. That was really good. Yeah. Did you see I got to go down on the field after the game was over? Did not. No, you did yeah. not. You didn't send me any pictures. I tweeted it. I tweeted it. You tweeted it. I was standing it. out there with the Roughnecks. Oh, okay. You seen that, right? Yeah. No, I didn't. <clears throat> As a matter of fact. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Was it? It's, it's pretty good. 
Was it still full? Or was I'd it take you down there with me if you were ever there in the fourth quarter. Yeah, well, I'm serious, dude. I, <laughs> I was going to stay for the whole game. I was sick yesterday. I don't know what was wrong with me, but I I had to 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 get out. Um. Um. Of the sun, I was feeling and feeling bad. But. So was it hot in the bowl when you guys were there? Because yes. The the little thing said seventy eight, and I was like, I don't know if the sun's beating down on you though, and you're sitting next to a hundred thousand people. You know, yeah, it was I mean, really windy either, which is always the worst. But my problem was I, I just felt you know like I was coming down with something a little congested. Head uh, was kind of ucked up, and man, you know, about the third quarter, well, at the end of the third quarter, I just I turned to Teresa and was like, you know. I, I'm done. Uh, I said I, I need to get out. I'm, you know, I was planning on going back and like getting in the jeep and taking a nap or something. But I got out of the sun, cooled down, drank some more water, and I was fine. I or made it through it. It was uh it was uh, his name is Blake. Go is Blaker twenty twenty. Uh, stopped by um, and said hello um, at the podcast and. We dropped uh, some pictures out there. Let me find everybody who. Um, I seen the Smith girls came by. Oh yeah, yeah the Smith girls—they were there the whole day. Yeah, they, they say. Were. Yeah, they say that's why. That's why I hung out with during the game. Yeah, so. Caleb wanted to hung, hang out with ladies other than going to a football game. So well, I haven't seen him in a while. That's the first. With that's them, the so. first smart thing I think I've ever heard anybody <laughs> say that Caleb's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Smith ladies came, and uh, Katrina Jones, uh, her and her family were there. They were they they stayed for the whole. Yeah, they're, 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 I think they're out there. They were there before and after. Yeah. It was funny. They had all gone over to Demos to mm-hmm. hang out with Demo for a bit, and so mm-hmm. I'm just sitting there manning. And they come in. And it was like, thought you had a big tailgate, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, everybody went somewhere. <laughs> no, <laughs> we, you know, that's uh, what I tell them. Yeah, but they they <laughs> they sat there and. Uh, you know, with me, and then when everybody got there, um, everybody else got back there. It was, uh, um, you know, it was a lot of fun. Uh, Andy uh, came by. I was glad he came by. He just came by to shake my hand because me and him are both Iron Maiden fans. Oh yeah. And I started talking to him last week about Iron Maiden, and we were at the same concert on the uh-huh. front row here in Oklahoma City. <laughs> he came by and said, "Hey." Um, Derek came by earlier. Too. Yeah, Demo came, did come by. He always comes by, and we always try to get over hey, there. Hey, I was the first one by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and I said, Andy, Andy stopped by. I don't want to try to miss anybody because I know there were several people uh, that came by. So I'm checking out all of our posts here from yesterday. Um, da da da. So one of the people that's on my side about the whole Skittles thing, she sent you a picture. She came by. I seen that you posted that. I saw one of them. Who, Lori? Candy. Oh, was that who that was? Yeah, Lori. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know any names because I don't get to meet anybody. Yeah, but there was others. I'm sorry. I know, guys, or some of you that came by and I talked to a bit, um, you know, but uh, it's not any disrespect, but um i'm i'm terrible with names the other mm-hmm. part <laughs> but a lot of fans came and went which was really cool um a buddy of mine from high school stopped by him and his wife and you know stopped by for a little bit said hey tim and them came out too sweet my old wrestling coach my first wrestling coach. yeah tim king uh his wife. caleb's wrestling coach which they always kind of come by and then uh, see i don't think you're bad with names <laughs> well those are you know these are people, people that i know. just met well, these who, people who won the 1978 know. heisman uh, Billy Sims. Oh, see, you're good with names. <laughs> who won the nineteen? You're just, you're just who mean. won the nineteen seventy three Heisman? Nineteen seventy three. George yeah. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did he? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, but let's uh, go with that. Um, but anyway, uh, and then um, it really cool was I was walking in the stadium. I walked face to face into a kid I grew up in church with. Mm-hmm. Or oh, not a kid. You know, he's a grown grown man now. Larry Tucker. We, I mean, literally walked going different directions, and I went Larry Tucker and. <laughs> So I and I hadn't seen that guy in years, but um, but anyway, I mean it, it was. Did you go see Roy Williams too? Did you get uh, did you no? Go? I didn't go and see. Yeah, he's Roy. Got, he's got autographs, and pictures yesterday at the fan fest. Yeah, Roy, Roy Williams really? is at fran- fan fest. So, um, uh, you know, and the Roughnecks were next door selling, uh, or the the alumni uh, association was selling, um, merchandise to help out the Roughnecks. Uh, got me a. 
mug and a sh- and a t shirt. And so, um, but anyway, everybody who did come out, I'm you know again, um, <coughs> sorry I didn't mention you, but hey, glad you came out. Keep coming out. We had a big group. We're gonna have big groups. It's only getting bigger because, um, you know, a lot of people are like definitely coming back. Uh, for the next one or the next game they're in, so or the next game that they come to, so we got two more home games left. So Dan would almost be proud of you. <coughs> Who? Dan the tailgater. Oh yeah, Dan and Dan's supposed to be here for the Oklahoma State. He's supposed to make that uh, nice. that stop. And of course, Wallace Marsh also stopped by. He did. Yeah. Dang it. Uh, met his wife and a uh, uh, you know a good friend of his. So guys complain to you also about how the one time we get a night game is at Texas Tech. <laughs> hey, the one time we all want night game all year long, we get night game. It's just so stupid. Like, like it's tech, I mean, they lost. Texas, God's being I mean, good to me. I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah, because because night, night games, games for me are, are horrible. horrible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, OSU might be a night game. We'll see if that happens. I mean, no, I bet you it's a two thirty game. We need a night. I mean, how much you hate to hear it, Rob? Because I know it's, West Virginia. It's be, I'm telling you, West Virginia is going to end up being a night. Oh, game. it's well, it is a night. A night it's game. Friday night. It so already it, is a night. The two game. hardest places to play at in the Big Twelve. We're going, to, we're, going to, we're going to be night games for us. Maybe, maybe awesome. all the West Virginia rednecks will be, you know, too full on uh, turkey and dressing. Yeah, maybe in the I, teens, though. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll be drinking moonshine Snowing. all day long. It's Black Friday. It's the day after Thanksgiving. They're going, they're going to be ready to go. So, oh, boy. But anyway, everybody, thanks for coming out to the pod, uh, to the podcast tailgate. We appreciate it. Um, and, you know, I'm not sure what's on the menu for uh, – the uh, Kansas game, but I for sure is OSU next or Kansas? It's Kansas next? isn't. It might be I OSU. I think it's OSU. I mean, look at schedule. Anyway, pull the schedule up. Pull the schedule. Talk going on. I'm trying to close. Trying to close show. up with all these questions. You got to pull the schedule up now. People need to know. Trying to close the sh- the podcast and <laughs> keep having to look stuff up. Well, this, everybody has Google. Yeah. See, that's that's how you know well prepared we are. That's OSU next. Yeah, yeah it's OSU so. next. So, yeah. There we go. On November 10th, two weeks away, or, you know, mm-hmm. uh, we're going to have chili and all the fixings. So, and there'll be a lot more people down, too. A lot of people coming out everywhere to, for that game, too. Yeah. So. I will so, not be there. You'll be in the stadium. Right. <laughs> and that game has not been announced yet. Yeah, so, we'll probably announce it this week or get back like the last week, either 7 o'clock or 2.30 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm betting it's an eleven o'clock game. How much no. you want to bet? So it's no. no. So two thirty. Two thirty. Two thirty. I think. It's a game. Really? I think it will be. Rob just gave you a <laughs> a double Man. double we bird a, look. We haven't, had, we haven't had night game. How about that? Two weeks in a row night games. We haven't had night game yet. I mean, oh, you got at least. Yeah, we did. We had yeah, one night. The lights have been on once so far this year. It's Army game. I'm pretty sure though. He's like, all right, we need a night game. We got to pay those bills. So I mean, yeah, it's okay. gonna happen. But anyway, next home game, we will have chili, big, you know, fixings, chili beer, soda pop, water, cookies. Uh, some other people said, hey, we're going to bring stuff if that's okay. And they're like, sure. <laughs> if we can come here, more we'll food, bring stuff. More, more, more food, food. More food, really? Cool. So anyway, uh, that's it for today, guys. Um, we're supposed to have uh, t- uh, on tomorrow's podcast, we've been working with a gentleman uh, from uh, Texas Tech fandom. And hopefully we'll have a podcast with him tomorrow for you. If not, we'll be uh, it'll just be us talking about the uh, the matchup for next week. But until uh, the next podcast, Boomer Center, everybody, Boomer Rob, Boomer Terry, Boomer Caleb. All right. Thanks for listening to the Sooner Football Fans Podcast. Hit the subscribe button right now on whatever app you're listening to to download every episode as they come out. Check us out on Twitter and Facebook and on YouTube. Boomer Sooner.